All right, guys, in this episode of the Smalls RV Adventures, we're going to be going over these two solar panels charging these portable power stations. One power station is the Millen 600 portable power station, and the next is the Rumia 1000 watt power station. Stay tuned, everybody. <laughs> As you guys know, we use these power stations and our solar when we go on our long distance trips. We often do not have hookups while we're traveling. So we rely on these portable power stations and the solar to keep our devices working and our RV functioning. So right now we have this 100 watt solar panel connected to this Rumia battery. It is 12 volts, which is compatible with this Rumia. This other solar panel is a 60 watt panel connected to this Millen 600 power station. Again, this is also a 12 volt uh, solar panel. It's also compatible with 18 volt portable power stations. Today is a very cloudy day and we have some trees blocking the sun, but I wanted to test these solar panels out to see how much power we can get from the sun, even on a cloudy day, just so that if we ever in the situation where we need power, we know that we have enough consumption to run all our devices on these power stations and to keep them topped off. This 100 watt solar panel right now is giving this Rumia a whopping 58 watts of power. I'm gonna close in so that maybe you can see it. It's flickering on the camera, but it's not flickering on my phone, which I'm using to record. But the battery right now is at 89%. It's gonna take 2.7 hours to charge it to full, and we're getting 63 watts of power from the sun. So this is a 100 watt solar panel and we're able to get 62 watts, 69 watts of power. It fluctuates based on the cloud coverage covering the sun. But we're able to get over 60 watts of power to this uh, portable power station from this, gener this uh, solar panel on a cloudy day. That is phenomenal. Now, what can you plug into this portable power station to maintain your battery topped off? A TV is about 40 watts. An Xbox or a PlayStation is also about 40 watts. Combined, you would think that it's 80 watts, but when you're talking about electricity, it's somewhat uh, difficult to depict how much total it would take out because sometimes it's using the same current. So I saw when we had the Xbox and the TV plugged in, it was under 80 watts. So this 68 to 70 watts that we're getting on a cloudy day from the sun may be enough to keep that battery topped off while you're engaging in video games. Now on the other side, we have a 60 watt portable power station. It's in the shade a bit more because of the trees, but you're still able to pull power from the sun. Now we're gonna see how much power this 60 watt solar panel is putting into this milling battery. Now again, you want to try to put in more power than you're taking out. If you're putting in less power than you're taking out, then the battery is going to drain. It will drain much slower than you not having any sort of uh, output, but you still are going to have a longer lasting battery with some power going in. So let's take a closer look at this milling battery to see how much is going in so right now we have full cloud coverage and we have about 10 watts of power going in i've tested this solar panel throughout the day and the most i saw was 35 watts on this cloudy day going into this solar panel right now the sun is coming out a little so you saw it go up to like 18 and it's fluctuating up and down of course i'm blocking the solar panel all right in this short time that i've been dealing with the solar panels i learned a lot about solar energy and wattage now the sun 
It usually comes up at about seven or eight o'clock in the morning. The sun is not at its powerfulest point at that time, even though you see it in the sky. Usually around 12 noon is where you're gonna get the most powerful sun. Now, let's talk about wattage. The wattage going into your solar panel that's going to charge your portable power station, that's what you wanna look at. Because if you wanna use your portable power station that has a pass-through for the electricity, you wanna have enough wattage that it will keep your power station topped off. So most appliances that you're gonna use in your RV or at your campsite is gonna be lower than 40 watts unless you're brewing a cup of coffee or you're boiling an electric tea kettle or you're using something with an electric current, uh, a heating a heating panel that's uh, gonna cause it to use more electricity. Anything with the heating element is gonna use a lot of electricity. So if you're using anything that does not have a heating element, it's not gonna take a lot of electricity or power to run it. So for example, if you have a 100 watt solar panel and you're able to retrieve 80 watts of power from the sun and it's plugged into your portable power station, you can run your TV for as long as that sun is up without you decreasing the amount of battery that you have remaining inside of your portable power station, the power remaining, the power. So even if you have 40 watts on a cloudy day going into your power station and you have 40 watts coming in from uh, the, the, your TV that you're, you're taking out from the power station, you're still gonna remain topped off. Now let's talk about you using more energy than what your solar is bringing into your power station. You're still gonna have a longer lasting battery because it's not gonna deplete as fast because even though you're using, let's say 80 watts of power and you're only getting 40 watts in from the sun, that means that you're only using 40 watts of power for each hour. So if you have a 500 watt battery or a 600 watt battery, when I say battery, I mean power station, you still can use it for about 13 hours using that 40 watts of power. But if it's on a sunny day, you can just use that bad boy all day while the sun is out and your, body, your, your portable power station will remain topped off. At night, when there's no sun, then you're gonna be depleting your battery, but it's not enough time from when the sun goes down to when it comes up to totally deplete your battery unless you're using some high energy, high power retrieving devices. As you can see, even on a cloudy day, you're still gonna get some good sunlight for periods throughout the day. The cloud, the sun is gonna peek through the clouds and it's gonna give you some sort of high boost of energy. So even on a cloudy day, you're gonna get good power going into your solar panel, which can be converted to energy for you to use on a stored portable power station. These power stations are revolutionary. They're changing everything. They're changing the game. The more solar you have, the longer you'll be able to stay off grid. For us, we travel cross country and when we're stopping in the rest areas, let's say we don't wanna put on our generator, we can use our portable power stations to power most things in our rig. It's great. We even have a small portable AC that it doesn't draw much uh, wattage. It draws a little more than a fan and it can cool off each room. And we have these portable power stations in each room of our trailer. So it keeps it nice and cool. So I'm looking forward to this next trip that we're going to take because we're using these uh, solar panels with the portable power stations. Now remember, I'm gonna put the link for all of these products down in the description. So if you wanted to see or, or look the products up yourself, the link will take you right to the product to help you eliminate, eliminate some of the searching that you're gonna have to do. Hey guys, don't forget, if you like these videos, don't forget to hit that like button down below. We see all the likes and we love getting them. 
If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you're using solar, let us know your solar setup. I know a lot of people use the Battleborn batteries with the inverter and the charge controllers to keep their rigs charged up. Let me know about your setup. If you're like me and you're using portable power stations with solar panels, let me know your setup. Let me know what portable power station you're using. Again, if you're new to the channel, channel please subscribe. If you like these videos and you want to see more, hit that notification button so you can be alerted when we post more videos. That's all I got for you this time. I'm Ricky from the Smalls RV Adventures, and I'm out of here. See you later, everybody.